Times Square, Hong Kong. 30 years ago, a derelict tram station, and now one of Hong Kong's busiest shopping centers. This is the venue for Dominic Lam's new exhibition, 30 Years of Photo Painting, which he discovered. From today till September the 5th, in celebration of the 30th anniversary of his invention of this photo painting, Lam is exhibiting his most recent works here in Times Square. These photo paintings combine two of his passions, science and art. He uses his wide knowledge of Chinese art and culture and his knowledge of science in applying these techniques to his art. His mentors include renowned masters of traditional Chinese paintings and Nobel Science Prize winners. This contemporary installation is entitled Running Horse Lantern 2010, a name traditionally given to lanterns with moving parts and used to celebrate Chinese festivals. They include other light-emitting materials such as neon and LED. The five neon-lit horses are based on Lamb's painting A Brighter World, A Brighter Tomorrow and gallop continuously, constantly changing colors. The nine LED works of his new nine court diagrams, each measuring 4.4 feet, represent Lamb's interpretation of China's most ancient philosophy focusing on harmony, mutual respect, and coexistence between heaven, earth, and man, conditions that are vital to peace among nations and happiness among people. Dominic Lam is a man of many talents, often called a Renaissance man. The scope of his work covers many disciplines. Probably because he is a scientist and inventor, he continues to seek new ways to communicate his vision of the world continually experimenting with light and shade, combining different media and tools, fusing ancient and modern, science, new media, technology and art, he has packed into a single life the careers and experiences of many different people. I started when I was six years old. My teachers only allow me to use ink and rice paper, no colors at all, because they think that the use of colors early on actually will mask my mistakes. Furthermore, they only allow me to paint orchids, bamboo, and rocks, because these are all derivatives of calligraphy and also the basis of all other types of Chinese painting. In fact, one of my earliest paintings was created by first painting a galloping horse on rice paper, then making a negative and developing it um, on a black and white photographic paper. I would use different types of diluted photographic solutions and create the background of brown, orange, and yellow, which is called A Better World, A Better Tomorrow. In May of 2009, Jonathan came to me and asked if I would be willing to give a solo art exhibition at Louis Vuitton. I was certainly delighted to do so. The space that we have here is very long, very narrow. For the work that Dominic did, his, his idea ended up being ideally suited for this space because it, it created a narrative, it created a, a, a journey that as the, as the visitors walked down the length of this long gallery space, they were able to explore his work in real time. The big screen that we have here was originally conceived as part of the interior design of the store. With Dominic Lamb's exhibition, we were able for the first time out of the, the, the series of shows that we've had here to make the screen part of the exhibition space. Because of the nature of my process, the video actually shows the painting better than the painting itself because there's the three-dimensionality of uh, that is, that is uh, more prominent in the video. And in the Voyage of Discovery, um, especially in the um, scanning of the video, 
moving through the space, this very lyrical experience of going through um, a visual creative uh, journey, um, screening it and seeing it in, in a light box, uh, making it um, almost like a film, it, it, it adds to this dimension of both time and space. In 2001 and 2002, he did two large artworks for the Diaoyutite State Guest House in Beijing. And so I, I came and we discussed and I gave them my concepts of if I were to do the paintings, what would they be? And I guess they accepted. I decided that since the room is wrong, uh, I would use modern media such as enamel, airbrushes on canvas mm -hmm. and paint a traditional theme which are mountains uh, of China. Uh, four panels each 2.5 wide by 8 meters high. The opposite side of the wall is going to be a real waterfall mm -hmm. with water gone from the lake uh, that's outside of the glass wall. Mm -hmm. uh, therefore, I decided that uh, waterfall would be a theme. In contrast to the painting in the VIP room, mm -hmm. I wanted to use a, ve a very traditional Chinese medium, mm -hmm. namely ink, brush, and rice paper. A successful academic and businessman, Lam has never stopped pursuing his passion for art. Since 1990, he has been painting with exhibitions in Hong Kong, Washington, Houston, Shenzhen, Shanghai and Beijing. When the UK and the PRC were negotiating the return of Hong Kong to China, Lam did a collaborative painting with leading artists from the PRC, Taiwan and Hong Kong, with Lam representing overseas. This resulted in a historic artwork that symbolizes the unity of the Chinese people around the world. Yeah. Simon Yam is one of Hong Kong's best loved and leading actors. Since uh, I'm, a, I'm an actor, I make movies, but I love photography work, I love painting. As soon as I know Dr. Lam, he's a guy to make East, Met, West. He's a guy, why? Why? You see that? You see all the photography, all the painting work, I love it. I mean, the Chinese words I mean a lot of imagination, a lot of uh, inspiration. So he made a lot of charity work for, for all those artworks. Proceeds from sales of Lam's paintings are donated to charity organizations worldwide. In particular, Lam's painting Voyage of Discovery in 2009, exhibited at the Maison Louis Vuitton, was acquired for one million US dollars by a foundation. In 2004, the Secretary General of the Beijing Olympic Committee asked if I could do a painting that is related to the Olympics and China. I gave it a lot of thought and in this particular instance, actually my training in so Chinese calligraphy really helped. I did calligraphy? Because one of my favorite characters in Chinese is the word happiness. And that is the character that I write all the time. And one day, as I was looking at one of my happiness characters, it suddenly occurred to me that the five rings of the Olympics are actually part of this character.
多了，啊，先少多了，好吗？啊，好看吗 ？OK， so she has presbyopia. We all need to do is give her fifty cent pair of glasses, and now she can read very well. There is no questioning Dominic Lamb's many achievements and accomplishments in the different arenas of his life. His rewards and awards have been many, including the L'Oreal Prize for his invention of the photo painting process. Dominic modestly attributes a lot of the inspiration and support to his mentors, especially Professor Torsten Wiesel, the 86-year-old Nobel Prize winner in medicine, who continues to advise and encourage him. Give uh, Dominic a warm. Congratulations. Yes. Yes. Although wealthy and well able to retire, Lamb continues to work at the same frantic pace. In fact, one of his latest science projects could be his most successful yet. An edible vaccine that will do away with needles. Mixed with food, making it easy to ingest and digest, it could be taken by anyone, especially children. It could save millions of lives. He manages to find time to oversee the World Eye Organization, a charity he founded in 1999, dedicated to curing eye diseases, especially in the poor rural districts of China. For the past several years, he's, he has also been given more time to education and lecturing. Last year, they held a joint photo exhibition together at the Hong Kong Library, aimed at art teachers and educating the public. Since Lam believes visual art is the best way to develop children's creativity, he now plans to establish an institute of creativity, which will include photo painting and other innovative art forms. As a natural-born teacher and communicator, he joined forces with the Hong Kong Arts Education Department with the idea of promoting art education in public schools with a series of programs and dialogues. Age does not seem a factor in his social life either. He still socializes with a wide and diverse eclectic group of friends and has been known to stay up late. Another great source of my happiness is friendship. Throughout my life I have been very fortunate not only to have had many great mentors in art, science, business and philanthropy, but also many lifelong friends. Some of them I have known for 50 years or more. There is something definitely childlike about Dominic Lamb's enthusiasm for life. Particularly when he's in Hong Kong, he feels at home walking the streets he knew as a boy, where he ran wild, and occasionally sold newspapers for pocket money. Were you happy when you were six? Huh? Were you happy when you were six selling newspapers? When I was six years old? Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I haven't... I don't remember a day that I'm not happy. As for the future, well, Hong Kong's Peter Pan is coyly not revealing what his next project is. But when it appears, you can be sure it will bring something unique and beautiful into this world. Oh, <laughs>